Hello friends! Hello everyone! <laughs> my name is Kirsten, welcome to my channel. Um, it is St. Patrick's Day today. Happy birthday Julie! Julie is my best friend, we've been friends for over 10 years. I know she's watching this video right now. I love you so much um, and I hope to see you soon. I got my I like shenanigans shirt on. So I wanted to make this video because lately I've been getting really into like manifesting I mean I've always been into manifesting but I've been a little bit more into like astrological energy like full moons and new moons and like that kind of stuff and I know for a lot of people that just sounds so <sighs> hippy dippy like whatever and I always thought it was kind of like that too because I don't know like I'm a Capricorn but to me that doesn't really mean anything because I was also adopted so I don't know anything about like the time I was born like my rising sun like all that random stuff but Lately, I've been watching these YouTube videos from some of my favorite YouTubers like Lior Alexandra. I'm going to link her video down below because her video is what inspired this portion of my video. She does a lot of new moon and full moon readings and I just feel like everything she's been talking about has been aligning so much to the things going on in my life. And so, yeah, I've just been really into it and I wanted to share in case other people were also interested in it. So the new moon is going to be on March 21st and this is a special new moon because the energy for it is going to be very strong because it just happens to be right after the spring equinox. And things are starting to be reborn, flowers are sprouting up, animals are coming out of hibernation. So basically with the two happening at the same time, there's a lot of energy to manifest. <sighs> I don't know if you can hear my parents. This means that there's like a lot of powerful energy to manifest the things that you like. Like this is the time to start thinking about the life that you want to live. This is the time to start those habits and stuff. So I have a few things that I took notes on from Lior Alexander's video. And then I also have some journal prompts that I used at the beginning of the year. Before I get into all of it, this is super interesting because I filmed a video back in February about how I reflect on my year at the at the beginning of the year I reflect on my previous year and I make goals for the new year I wanted to upload it during like the new year time but I just wasn't in the right mindset okay and so now I'm finally at that point where I want to upload it like I'm ready and it just happens to be the spring equinox like this is the time to start new things I just think it's super cool that I just happen to be getting back into my mojo during this time of year. Like everything is just aligning. So I wanna talk about the new moon. And I wrote some random notes from the video. So the new moon is a time where you're just gonna feel very driven. Energy is high, you're feeling ambitious. You are very action oriented and your creative side is just awakening right now, okay? This is the time to start new things. Just like I was talking before, starting new habits. And Lior mentions it's a time for reality to be shifting and I don't exactly know what she means by this but it'll be interesting to see like what comes of that. This is also a time to find peace within yourself and like a time to manifest the things that you want but by manifesting the external things you may want you have to come within yourself and think like, who am I? What do I want? What are my values? And all of that kind of stuff. She also mentions how in the past, there might've been something confusing in your life that you suddenly gained awareness of. And around the time of the last full moon, you may have gained more clarity on it. And so now during our new moon, this is the time to take action on that. So let's say if it was a problem, you finally realize like what you have to do about it, like what, what the problem is and what you can do. And now is the time to take that action and actually do that. And yeah, and so with the spring equinox, now this is the time where your manifesting energy is very strong. So around the 21st to the 23rd, you want to take extra time to focus on the dream life that you want. You want to start manifesting those things. You don't want to speak badly about anything. You don't want to speak bad badly about your life. Like you only want to be bringing in the good energy and thinking about the life that you want to live. This is like such a powerful manifesting time. And I'm just super into manifesting. Like if anyone doesn't believe in manifesting and you're watching this video, one, I feel like the people who watch this video, one, because it's just like my close friends and stuff, but we're pretty aligned in values and stuff and it's imagining the life that you want to live you are going to be more open to the opportunities that come that are going to lead you to the life that you want to live does that make sense like it's not oh i'm gonna wish for this car and then i'm gonna get this car it's more of like oh i'm gonna imagine myself with this car and then 
as I go throughout my day, throughout my week, throughout my month, I'm going to notice little opportunities that are going to bring me closer to obtaining that car, if that makes sense. Another thing she mentions is if something has been interesting you, like something new is interesting you, you're you're thinking about trying something new, now is the time to try it. Um, and this could be like a career change or this could be just trying like a new sport or a new hobby or it could even be a new interest in a person. Like maybe you're meeting someone that, someone that's very different from someone you would usually go for, like a new friend or a relationship partner or anything like that. Like this is a time to just try it and then she also talks about how there's a few things that you might want to watch out for during this time being impulsive was one of them which i found very interesting because i have been extremely impulsive the last couple of days um i'm trying to find a place to live on long island right now for the summer and for when i start my master's program and it, it came to the point of like i found one place that i thought was amazing i rented it out and then i was like wait that's actually not gonna work and then literally today i came across a place and i was like i called my dad i was like this is the place like this is so great and he was like that literally wouldn't work with this and so yeah watching out for that impulsivity just making sure you're aware of like what's going on taking time to just like slow down and breathe and like think things through and then also watching out for like, aggression and just being frustrated and you might find yourself needing to confront someone or something and you can get through these issues by just being aware of yourself so yeah if you guys want to hear more about that go check out Lior's video she talks about it in a bit more detail um and i just love them so much so yeah that's kind of the gist of this new spring equinox and new moon energy it's just a time to start those new habits because this new moon in aries is actually the beginning of our astrological year and so the gregorian calendar which is what we go off of where january is the new year is completely different from the astrological year. And so that's why maybe some people don't resonate with making new habits during January. You might be more ready to start those new habits right now around springtime when things are just lightening up, you know? So what I have is in February, I did take some clips about me going over my reflection of my journal. And it's all about reflecting on the past year and making plans for the new year. Like I said, it was meant to be posted for the new year resolution, but I feel like this is just like, once again, things aligning where I didn't post it then. And now I'm finally getting to it because this is the more natural time for people to start making new habits and making changes and stuff. So it might not be the new year and these prompts are meant to reflect on the whole past year, but you can change them and turn them into reflecting on the last month. And you guys will see when you watch the rest of this video that it's very like reflecting on the past and thinking about the future and like what things you want to change and the goals and all of that. So yeah, that is about it for the spring equinox new moon talk. We're now going to get into my old clips about my journal prompts and stuff and I really hope you guys enjoy. I just love this kind of stuff. I love reflecting and like looking in on myself. Um, so if you align with that and you resonate with that, please give me a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all of that kind of stuff and yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. All right guys, listen, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, I should be doing something else other than this, but this is one thing I've learned. Those days when you have things on your list that you wanna get done and no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you just keep procrastinating and doing anything you possibly can to not do what you wanna do, even if you want to do it. Like it's a weird thing, but anyway. On those days when you are resisting what you are trying to do, just go with it. Just don't do it then because all you're doing, at least all I do, is I try so hard to do something that I want to do, right? I still don't get it done. Now I'm wasting my time trying to get myself to do it when I could be using my time to do other things like make this video. And it's just like, then I also feel guilty because now I'm not getting anything done whatsoever. And it's like this whole cycle of like, ugh. So just let go. Yeah, it's annoying that you can't get that task done, but if you're not gonna get it done anyway, you might as well do something else, if that makes sense. So I've been meaning to make this video. Um, I've been wanting to share about some of my goals for the new year. And even though it's February 1st, happy birthday, Brooklyn. I am a strong believer that it's never too late to like start a habit. Like you don't need to wait for January 1st 
to start a good habit. You don't need to wait for a specific time to start making good choices and all of these things. I took a little while to reflect on my 2022 and make goals for my 2023. So I'm going to share those right now. If you've seen any of my videos, you already know that I love to journal. I have a bullet journal. Um, it's really just like a regular journal, but last year I did this really cool journal prompt thing from Margot Lee. She's a YouTuber and it was a great way to reflect on 2022 and then plan for 2023. So I decided to do it again this year. And I'm just gonna share some of the prompts that we go through. So basically it's seven days of prompts, right? We got day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, and day seven. Oh, and this is my 2023 spreadsheet. I know it's probably backwards, so maybe I'll flip it for you. I didn't really do much because I don't know I need to add more but I'm just gonna let it come to me so for day one it's taking inventory how do you remember feeling at the start of 2022 how did you feel throughout 2022 in one word write how you feel about 2022 and in one word write how you hope to feel this time next year day two reflection the goals you hit in 2022 the goals you didn't hit in 2022 and key events in 2022. I love this part because what I did is I would just go through each month and I would write like main things that happened in the month. And it's just a great way to like look back and be like, what did I do throughout this year? Um, it's really cool. And then you've got characters in 2022. You just write all the people, all the connections you've made. And then you've got the good of 2022, the bad of 2022, and the ugly of 2022, which I just put in a little thing at the very bottom. I just love it. It's just so fun. Okay, so day three, refine. Review the last two days, then determine what you want to do. It's discard in 2023 keep in 2023 and add in 2023. So you're looking over 2022 and you're saying, what did I like? What did I not like? What do I want to change? What do I want to add in? Day four, action plan. What do you want to feel in 2023 and how might you achieve that? So this one, I just split up a feeling column and then the action and causes. So like how you want to feel and then what are things that you need to do that will cause that feeling. Day number five are themes. This is write a list of words under each category for 2023. And we've got career, mental health, physical health, relationships, free time, and etc. Day six is goal setting. Write down 100 goals you'd like to achieve in 2023 in present form. So I have not written them down yet because I'm still making my list. But I decided to use two pages this year because last year I wrote all 100 on one page and it was so squished together but I really want to take time to actually come up with goals that I can what what's the word that I can actually what is the word that you know smart goals like measurable measurable okay <laughs> I want to have measurable goals so things that I can actually say like yes I completed that goal because some of my goals last year were like have confidence and although I do have a lot more confidence it's like where is the line like maybe you're not confident every day so like do I really have confidence yes I do but anyway that's beside the point so far for my 2023 goals I've been writing it in here I've got 48 goals and I've already done some of them but they're just kind of like my bucket list goals for the year so that's going to be really fun to come up with and then for day seven, I've got more of. Write all the words, quotes, thoughts, phrases, sayings you want to hear more of in 2023. And I started with it. I'm going to turn it into kind of like my um, monthly sheets where I kind of like decorate nicely. I don't know how to word that. Anyway, where I just like write things that come to me. Some of the things I said are, you inspire me. Your heart knows the way. Run in that direction. Choose connection. Life is but a collection of moments. Be present in each and every one of them. And when you look back, it will become clear that this was always the path you were meant to walk. That is like a little review on my journal. I really just wanted to share about it. Like, I know that it's already February, so people might not be doing that. Like, that's kind of like a New Year's resolution type thing. 
but if you haven't reflected on 2022 like I encourage you to look at this I will put the journal prompts down below in the description box because I just love it so much it just and it's just such a cool way to like look back on your year and say like wow I really did that like I really did that I really met those people I made all those connections I accomplished that like I'm so proud of myself I got through that you know like I said I don't think there's a wrong time to ever start habits and actually one of my friends was telling me he sent me this TikTok, and it was something along the lines of like why is it that January is the time when we start New Year's resolutions like yes it's a new year but January is the winter time it's the cold season it's a time where animals will start hibernation and stuff so like why are we using this as a time where we feel that we need to start all these new things like right now we need to just be working on ourselves to like exist and continue and just like slowly but i kind of saw that and i was like okay i get that he was saying like spring is the time because spring is like new beginnings like everything's turning a new page and all that and that makes a lot more sense energetically it would make sense to start new year's resolutions in the spring and maybe that's why like i don't know the religion like lent is it lent wait what i don't know when you give something up for a month clearly you can tell i'm not religious but i guess that makes sense like you're trying something new and that's around the springtime i'm pretty sure i thought of that and i was like that's so true but also it doesn't have to be springtime either when you start new things like you can start something new anytime you can choose to make a better choice for yourself at any point in your life any time of day any day in the year so yeah that's my two cents on it anyway i'm gonna end this little video thing here thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate all the support i know that it's gonna help someone out there somewhere so that's all i can really ask for I really hope everyone has had a great start to their 2023. It's crazy to even say that it's 2023. Like my sister turned 21 today. Ah! Anyway. Okay guys, back to the present Kirsten. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even though it was over a month ago, I still, I remember like I had a lot of fun doing it. And today I just got like so much happier and excited for this new moon spring equinox like all these things and I think it's just because like you know the t this is a time of creativity and I feel like after such a long stagnant period of time of just not being able to upload anything not being able to feel that creative spark it's like finally happening and it just makes me a little bit more excited that it just happens to be aligning with what is going on with this astrological universe type stuff um so yeah that kind of stuff just like makes me really happy anyway so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give me a big like, comment, subscribe. It really helps my channel and I hope to see you guys in the next one.